guys welcome to my channel uh today i'm trying to set up a new samsung led tv the smart tv so i just want to show you how simple it is to do the setup so as you can see it's showing me actually i've connected it with a uh, mouse because it's wireless so I'll just choose the English because I'm conversant with English or French but I'll use the English for today uh, I just go to next there is two options there you can see uh, one is showing me home use for those people who are not conversant this is for your home use and if you are uh, using this for demo for the stores You'll put the storm demo because this one will have a high contrast ratio vivid will be a little bit high than the home so always choose home when you're using it for home but when you're using it for your shop or for your uh, cafeteria you can use the store demo and in this store demo i'll show you actually why uh, we usually use the store demo i'll just go with the store demo because uh just for uh, our viewers who want to know what is actually happening uh, so I'll just go with the home uh, uh, store mode. Store mode. I'll show you why it will be having some extra um, settings. That means it's going to be like a high contrast ratio. Vivid will be high, and uh, gamma, and all these things I'll be showing you in a while. So let's go. Uh, as you can see here, the TV itself is strongly uh, is giving me some recommendation here. We strongly recommend you select home use. Store demo is intended only for store use. If you choose store demo, the picture settings will be reset every 30 minutes. So that's why when you're using it at home, avoid this one. But for me, because I want to show you exactly what is happening, I'll just uh, choose the store demo. And uh, it's giving me an option of uh, either wireless or connect to a LAN. And... Uh, I'll actually skip that because it's gonna take some time so I'll just skip it and then I'll show you actually the difference of store mode and the home mode so because my wireless is taking some time guys I'll just skip it let me give it some two seconds if it's not uh, connecting urgently quickly I'll just uh, but you, you can connect a LAN you can connect a LAN here, it's written very clearly. The next step is to set up your wireless network using an internal LAN adapter. Uh, if you want to connect uh, to your wired network, plug in a network cable. So you can just plug in your network cable uh, that you're using from the router directly to your TV and then you are ready to go. So let me skip this rock uh, here. Uh, it depends where you are Asia, China, Hong Kong, South Africa, wherever. You just choose America. Uh, all these regions you can choose. Then you can continue. Uh, since for now, I am in. Uh, let me choose my area. Uh, like today I'm in Hong Kong so I'll just go to Hong Kong I'll go next okay uh, let's find the store ch channels on your TV do you need uh, to search for channels if you need to search for channels actually if you have a, a connect a wall connection to the aerial you can search your local depending on the region where you are you just connect the cable to the wall and then you can just continue with the uh, uh with the next then it will start searching your your local channels but i'll skip this section okay for here i'll just put a timing and the date and timing you have to put the date and time the correct date and timing because you want your tv to be updated all the time so today is 11th for instance and then and the month of uh march and this is uh 20 uh actually we are in the 2023 if i'm not wrong yeah 2023 let's go here we go okay 
So that's it, 11-3-2023. So I'll just press next. Okay. I'll go for the time. Uh, the time I'm setting, it will be this current time uh, uh, where I am and the region. So it's around the 205 or 207. Okay. So I can go. I'll go with that. Remember, guys, I'm using a mouse. I'm not using the remote because it's easier to navigate with the, the mouse. So let's go next. Um, there is a voice control in this uh, device. Uh, so the voice and motion control features are now available. I don't just want to put it off because I want to, uh, to show you the demo. And light now. It's showing me, congratulations, your smart TV setup and ready to go. So the mod, as usually, as I told you, the mod is Tor mod. Network connection, I did not connect. Software upgrade, it will be upgrading whenever I connect the connection. So my area is Hong Kong. And I to tuning channels, I did not tune anything. So let's close. My TV is ready. So you can go to Smart Hub. Actually, this one is picture to picture. That means uh, you can watch your TV here as you're watching another channel here. So as you're waiting for your next program to appear, you can see that last option here. You can watch your TV channels here waiting for your football or uh, basketball like me. And as I'm watching my channels here in this section. So here is showing you Samsung applications, your videos, fitness, kids, social, YouTube. Uh, all these channels you can get them in your smart hub so that's it for this short video at least you are conversant now on how to use or how to connect your Samsung smart TVs they are almost the same most of them they use the same uh, remotes some use the different remote but this one Particular, this one is a smart one and also with the voice control. Telling you, I set it to in uh, in uh, store demo, and uh, you can see here picture mode is very high. Yeah, the picture mode is very high. You can see dynamic is on 20, and in the normal settings, you can choose for home use, you can choose from the range of uh, not to have 100 in the high contrast ratio, you just put it on the 50. Brightness also should reduce because of your eyes or your children. Uh, color always you should put in the middle so that you don't have a high blue rays on your eyes. So colors always should be in the middle. But these settings is for the store demo. And I'll be showing you how to go back to the normal settings just uh, in a while. So. The option of sound, sound mode is standard. You can put here, you can change if you want. If you want to change some equalizer, you can put some equalizer. Like for me, I like balancing left and right in the middle. And 100 hertz, I can increase or decrease. And 300 hertz, uh, that one is the mid range, I can increase. And mostly, you can keep on the on the middle all of them then it will balance if you want to reset also you can reset again the equalizer will be back to normal but for me i like equalizer when uh, this one is a little bit high and this one that's how i balance my own this is my own balancing you can choose depending on the stereo that you have but left and right should always be in the middle uh, so i close that one for the equalizer uh, I, this is how I set my equalizer depending on the stereo that I have. I have a Sony, so I know it will be balancing well for the sound. I'm using the optical cable actually also to navigate 
uh, my sound properly if you want to get a good sound you use the optical cable for your sound so the brightness this one I gone this is for the picture quality um, for home use I'll recommend you to put uh, at least uh, backlight should be very dim because maybe of the children or something like that contrast ratio I would also recommend you to put it at around a half a little bit brightness you can a little bit adjust the sharpness always uh, try to maintain it in the middle and the color as I told you also try to maintain it in the middle or you can reduce because also the blue rays uh, the blue color is not very good for the eyes when actually the children are watching at a close range so that is very important you should know so let's go to that is the color settings we have already finished with the sound mode uh, sound effects we already put the equalizer SPDF output we don't need it speaker settings you can set your speakers as I told you um, this one you can put your music uh, movie or you can even put clear voice or amplify it the way you want but me most of all I'm a fan of music so I just put it on music so that I enjoy you can see my settings I reduced it uh, to the normal settings uh, channels you can put auto depending on where they are. I am in Hong Kong today uh, in case I go back to my uh, local area I change this one to my local area whether it's South Africa or it's in uh, Jamaica or Asia or any other country you can just change this and then it automatically it will be on and network settings like I told you before the model is UA40 ES7500 slim um, the system this one you don't need to go to this one so much because this one is for the experts uh, you can put your security yeah you can put your security you can put your password it will give you options for me I'm just putting my normal password okay then I just go next now I'll go back to home use home settings so home settings as I told you so you can go start with the network And uh, depending on the speed of your router, it should connect with immediately. So I'll skip it because I want to finish your, my settings urgently. Uh, you can put wherever you are in Europe or Asia, you can go next. Uh, this one connection of uh, the channels you don't need, just skip it. If you don't have uh, the date and time, I already set it, so I just go. Uh, voice and motion control features if you need you can put it off on or off so currently I'm putting off because I want I'm showing you the demo and um, uh, some features you can just go next the menu now is showing me that uh, my menu is in English user mode is in home use be previously here it was a uh, store use uh, network setting I have not co connected the network software upgrade it will upgrade when you connect the, the your LAN or wireless area now I've changed to Asia or Europe depending on the place you are auto tuning I don't want to tune uh, my local channel so I just skipped that one uh, so I got to close and I'm ready to go my TV is ready go smart hub I can now choose whatever I want and watch this channel depending on how where you are you can choose the sources you can use the USB as well this TV has got a lot of options you can choose whatever you want you can store your photos you can store your videos as you can see uh, mine is showing that at least I have some USB I can just go to some folders as uh, so a person who likes music I'll search uh, then I can just go to my favorite and 
I can just see directly. That's so much for watching and do remember to subscribe to our channels because we usually show you some insights of whatever uh, is happening in the in the electronic sections and basic setup and also how to do your setup at home and avoid some mistakes that many people do make the mistakes while they are doing the installation thank you guys for watching and do remember to subscribe to our channels and uh, thank you for your comments and each and everything that you're telling me in the comment section i usually take it serious and uh, i usually try to bring uh, whatever somebody tells me to put on the show thank you guys and welcome to my channel do remember to subscribe and put your thumbs up so much for watching and do remember to subscribe to our channels because we usually show you some insights of whatever uh, is happening in the in the electronic sections and basic setup and also how to do your setup at home and avoid some mistakes that many people do make the mistakes while they are doing the installation thank you guys for watching and do remember to subscribe to our channels and uh thank you for your comments and thank you so much for watching and do remember to subscribe to our channels because we usually show you some insights of whatever uh, is happening in the in the electronic sections and basic setup and also how to do your setup at home and avoid some mistakes that many people do make the mistakes while they are doing the installation thank you guys for watching and do remember to subscribe to our channels and uh, thank you for your comments and each and everything that you're telling me in the comment section i usually take it serious and uh, i usually try to bring uh, whatever somebody tells me to put on the show thank you guys and welcome to my channel do remember to subscribe and put your thumbs up